Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. Welcome if you are new. So glad that you guys could join me today. I'm going to be doing a series of fall crafts and let's go ahead and just hop right down to the craft table and get these projects started. So for my first craft, I have a little tag. It's a, you know, one of these little, uh, I don't know if it's like MDF or something, but it's basically quote a wood tag. It has a little jute string. I sanded over it and then I just added two coats of my Waverly chalk white paint. Let it dry and then I noticed it wasn't really drying as fast as I wanted to. So I just got out my little heat gun that I use for embossing and gave it a quick swipe with that and it worked great. So if you ever need your chalk paint to dry a little faster, just grab your heat gun. Um, you probably could even grab a hairdryer and it would work great. Other thing is you can actually still see some of the impression of, I don't know, maybe you can see it here. There we go. It's like a little bit of the ghost of the image that was on there. So I didn't like that. And I decided to go ahead and cover it completely with some print and cut vinyl. So what I did is I found this image in Design Space. And as a side note, in addition to all the materials, uh, you can find this design space link. It has all of the projects all on one canvas for you. Thought it was really cute. So I went ahead, print this, uh, printed this out on the Cricut printable vinyl. And so I'm just going to see about getting this up off of the carrier sheet. And I don't want to cut the carrier sheet because I actually want to be able to reuse the rest of this page. Because this is just a big ginormous square and it leaves this sheet, I can now use this area for a future project. I took this image and I put it on top of a white square and I flattened the whole thing. And then I just sized it to this. And then I did the print thing cut. And I'm gonna work overhead here. And I'm gonna line up this center line right here. And then I'm going to line up the horizontal line about, uh, about right here, kind of like right above that line. And so I think that will work really well. And I'm not gonna use any transfer tape. And then I'm just gonna press that down. Okay. And then I happen to have the word autumn. And if it fits, I will just add that to the top, like right up here. Basically, it needs a little something at the top. The other option, and that actually weeded so beautifully. Let me cut this down so maybe we can see without all, without all of the carrier sheet. This could go down right there just like that. I actually really like that. I am going to use my Cricut transfer tape with this particular Cricut brand vinyl, which cuts beautifully on the machine and it weeds really well. So I'm very pleased with it. I'm just finding that it doesn't really like my other transfer tapes and it could be me. So. I'm going to be using Cricut transfer tape and then I'm going to save my other transfer tape for other brands. And really the Cricut transfer tape works for most brands, at least in my, in my um, experience. Okay, so hopefully today this will work really nicely for me. Let me get that started. There we go. Okay, and then we're just gonna put this down right on the top there. Okay, give it a quick burnish. And then I'm gonna pull this up. Hopefully it will not pull up my paint or my print and cut, because I would be very sad. It, had, it is pulling up a little bit of ink, but normally for print and cut, I use like a paper transfer tape, which is Gorgeous. I mean, it just works amazing, but this is, it left plenty of ink down. So that's great. And because it pulled up a little bit of ink and like, um, just a film base from that paint, I'm not going to save it. Here we go. This is our first craft. And that actually 
that came out way better than I had planned. So fantastic. This is so cute. Okay, well, let's move on to our next craft. For my next craft, I found this also in the clearance section of Hobby Lobby, and it was just one of these little mini um, cutting boards, charcuterie boards, and it was on clearance for $224. So what I did is, again, I sanded it. I put two coats of my chalk paint, and then I went around very lightly. I took a baby wipe and I just very lightly went around just kind of over it with this um, wax. And this is just, it's called antique wax. It's made by the same people with the chalk paint. And it just gives it like a distressed look. Okay. And so now we're going to do this particular svg now this was also found in design space in fact there's only one today that i did not get in design space i will have to just link that for you because cricut will not let me share my design file if i have um, non-cricut images so that will not be in the design file when you open it Okay, got that all weeded out. Nice and sweet. Okay, so this right here, this is actually Expressions Vinyl, and it's their slate gray, and I'm going to put it right on there. I'm going to use the Caesar Transfer tape that I buy from them. I think it'll work well for this project. Normally, I would use paper transfer tape, but I want to be able to see my project so I can get it lined up because I like these little grid lines. And then I'm going to take this piece of the transfer tape over here, and I'm just going to overlap it. And that way I have everything covered. Okay, so we'll do a quick burnish on both sides as usual. I think this is like my second or third Fall video. Have you guys started crafting for fall? I really need to get a jump on Christmas. I know it's a little early for Christmas, but we will have a very busy fall, especially with our move. So there might be some Christmas crafts coming a little sooner than we planned. Okay, again, I'm just going to line this up with the lines of my mat and I'm just going to kind of go up. Okay, I think that's going to look great. And then we're just going to gently pull this up and it just lays down so beautifully. I really do like that vinyl and I love this transfer tape. It is pretty darn awesome. Okay, stick that back on there. And then I do see a tiny, tiny, tiny tiny little piece that's from that O. Okay, there we go. So this is my second craft. Cute little Hello Fall. This is great. I love this. And I love this SVG. It's literally one of my favorites. And I just haven't had a, a chance to work with it yet. So let's move on to craft number three. Okay, so for craft number three, I basically have one of these clear glass rivets from the dollar store, you know, the Dollar Tree, and they call it a cutting board. I call it a trivet. Um, I guess it could be either way. And basically, I have a design that I want to put here on the top. Now, this will just be a decoration because two things. One, had I mirrored this, had I mirrored this, then I could put it um, underneath the glass. I could really do that with this, but my word, I did not mirror. So unfortunately, this is going to go on top. Then we will just make sure we, we don't like stick food on top, which was kind of my intent. So this one will end up just being the decoration. And there's just a little bit of weeding to do in this particular project. Not very much. Mm 
Okay, so, oh, here's a little tip. So my Cricut vinyl is a roll, as you can see. And I basically just keep it in my little cup cradle here next to me. And then I can just, you know, I can just pull it out as I need. Actually very handy. And that's actually just something that I um, really just thought of. It's not like I do that particular thing all the time. Okay, so again with yellow and orange. I don't have a lot of fall colors. Ooh, that is a lot of static. So on that note, with there being a lot of static, I am going to pull up my transfer tape. I'm going to just fold over the corner to make like a little tab. I actually got that from Ashley at her channel. Okay, and then I'm going to just put the first part down. And then I can pull this. All right, so we'll burnish the front down, burnish the back. Okay, I'm going to burnish the back a little bit more. Goodness, that was um that was a little bit of a chore, but that is okay. Um, we got it. I am going to spray a little bit of rubbing alcohol. This will help ensure that there's no dirt, oil, or anything else that would prevent the vinyl from sticking. And that's just regular rubbing alcohol. Um, I just got a little spray bottle. A little cheap one. It's from the Dollar Tree, so you know nothing crazy. I'm gonna try and get this completely centered. Actually, that went down very smooth. See that tab right there? So shout out to Ashley at uh, a Grace dot co. Wonderful tip. Super. Thank you. Lovely. Okay, that was definitely a little bit better. Well done. Bring that back in. Now the SVG automatically has all these cuts in the pumpkin. In fact, let me do this so that you and I can see what we're doing here. Sorry about that shiny glare. So now I have to get this in all the right places before I put it down permanently. I def I do wish I had remembered to mirror the you know the image and the word because it would have been really nice to put it on the underside. Okay. But there we go. That's the Okay, so cute little um, decoration or a gift and super easy, very inexpensive. This, you know, I used up some scrap vinyl, just fantastic. Okay, so that is craft number three and let's move on to craft number four. Okay, so craft number four is actually, we've had this particular um, flower pot for a while. And I think I finally decided I want to put some fall leaves over it. So I have some orange and yellow and green leaves. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the outside with the rubbing alcohol, get it nice and clean. And then I'm just going to leave it in the, the cradle here. And I'm going to set that off to the side. Now, when you go into design space, there on the left side, there will be like a really tall grouping of leaves. They're all grouped together. And then inside that group, there are little individual trios. Did 
a third of them in this green color, a third in the orange, and a third in yellow. yellow. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally leave them like that, but these do have little middles to come out. The middle is pretty much one, you know, one piece. So we're just gonna pull all these up and you'll see the leaf impression. So there's one leaf there. I'm gonna try and use a different tool and hold down these delicate borders while I weave them. Yes, that worked so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna just put on some music and go ahead and get these weeded. Okay, so that was definitely a little bit of a labor of love, but I think it's gonna be very well worth it. What I'm gonna do is I'm really just going to put these down on some transfer tape. I'm gonna start getting them, well, I'll cut them apart and then I'll get them onto the um, flower pot. So I think this will hopefully not be the tricky part. I'm hoping that this will stay down for me. Okay, so before I fight with any more transfer tape and leaves, I'm going to, I'm essentially going to cut these apart and I'm just gonna try to randomly put them all over. Um, random can sometimes be hard for me. Being a geometry teacher, I like a lot of symmetry, but I think, I think I can do it. It'll be a good, practice. Okay, so that is all of our leaves. This looks so cute. I really like it. It definitely adds something to the flower pot and will look really good with like some fall mums or something. But okay, let's move on to our last craft of the day and then we will have our showcase to decide which one we like best. Okay, for my last craft, and it's kind of hard to see the whole thing all at once. Maybe I can zoom out for you guys. Basically, it's a wood blank, has these leather straps on the end. And it actually says, uncork and unwind. And this was on clearance at TJ Maxx. And I decided I'm not gonna do anything with that side right now. I'm going to use this side here because it's pretty much ready to go. And I'm going to use it to put down a gather together. And I thought this would be great just to sit out you know, on the counter or, you know, on a side table, something like that. And it is, you know, it's fall. It's kind of Thanksgiving, but it's not overly Thanksgiving. So I can actually leave it out. Um, I could even leave it out through Christmas if I wanted to. So that's kind of fun. And this is my slate gray from Expressions Vinyl. I didn't want to do white. I do a lot of white, which is fine. I like the white, but I thought that this would be nice just to do something a little different than I normally do. And check that out. That is exactly the length that I needed. And I think for this one, because it's so long, I'm going to just do 
that one inch and then pull and hopefully I get everything covered. I will take this top here and I will overlap it down on this side. All right, so we're gonna burnish both sides really well. Do we see why I absolutely love my Expressions vinyl? It is so kind to me and it just works so well. So I'm just gonna lay this here just so that I can be as centered as possible. And then I'm gonna, kinda like when I do my iron on, I'm just gonna pinch center and I'm gonna line that up like around eight, about right there. And then I'm gonna remove this and I would just wanna see if I like how it is vertically. It is close enough there. Okay, here we go. Give it a quick burnish. And we're gonna pull this up. Perfection. Okay, I love it. That looks really good. This looks fantastic. I love that. Okay, so I am going to go get all of the things that we made today and then we can decide which one is our favorite. Okay, here is all, all of the products that we made today. So I've got my logo stickers. So these are just print and cut stickers and I made them this summer. So I made a variety. So fall and Christmas and Halloween. And I forgot all about them. Um, I did see them here a minute ago and I was like, oh, I should put these like on the back of the, of the crafts that I made. Okay, so our first craft with this little tag here. So this is a print and cut and I just laid that down over the tag, which had been sanded and painted with two coats of chalk paint. And then I took the word autumn, which was from another SVG. I was going to possibly use that in today's crafts, but I decided that uh, I did not want to use that. So what I will be doing is I will be taking these little, um, these off, and I will be adding my sticker to the back, just like that. It'll look really cute. So there we go. We had craft number one. This was craft number two. So this is very similar in nature. I'm gonna take all these off and then I'll add the sticker to the back. But this was, again, the white chalk paint on top of the, uh, the blank. And then I did some antique wax just around the edges for some distressing. And this is the slate gray vinyl and it just looks so cute. Then we had here, this was the cutting board slash trivet from Dollar Tree and we just added some vinyl and again I wish I had mirrored this so that I could put it underneath but that's okay this will be great for decoration or we can just lay something on top of that but it is not food safe so we will not be putting little snacks on here unless they are wrapped items but that is so cute and these would make great gifts any of these here then we had our labor of love, you know, so this was just my flower pot that had been sitting and it needed some fall decoration. I will, I will probably not actually go back in and add any more leaves because really when leaves fall, there's air and space and they're just free floating. So the fact that these are just kind of on here, they're as random as I could get. <laughs> This is about as random as I can do, but I love that. It'll be great on the porch. And then finally, my little um, clearance blank from TJ Maxx. And all I did was I just uh, made sure it was nice and clean. And then I put in slate gray, the gather together. And this will look really good on the counter or a sideboard. So I will tell you that probably if I really had to pick one right now, it would be this one. I just love this. I love the, the message and I love the simplicity. So I will say this is my favorite for today. 
Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful, inspiring, or that you enjoyed it in any way. And until I see you in the next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.